All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion for a film that I was going to do last year because I watched Black Dynamite a while ago, um, and I just never really got to it. So unfortunately, this came out in 2023. It's a Western comedy called Outlaw Johnny Black, and it's a, a Michael J white film uh he does these small budget films and he's a martial artist so he's kind of a big deal in this small budget b film kind of category but also he's been in some other stuff um but here's the plot cowboy johnny black vows to gun down brett clayton the man responsible for the death of his father as he seeks vengeance he becomes a wanted outlaw while posing as a preacher in a small mining town now here's some of the gas. This was really a hilarious and such a fun film. The you can tell this was inspired by the old corny low budget B film over the top 1970s slash 80s black community action films such as The Shaft, franchise by Richard Roundtree. And I believe he's the one that started it, and there's a whole story behind it. And one of his films, there was a reboot, and they and they, they sent the message about it, and it, it was, came out like three years ago, and it was an Eddie Murphy a production film, and uh, it's on Netflix, I think. I could be wrong. I don't think it is anymore. Um, but yeah, look it up. It's it's by I don't remember what it's called. I'll put it up here, but in case you want to check it out. But it's definitely it it sheds a light on a history of difference between black comedy and the time in the that, those days and a white comedy. So it's really really interesting. Uh Well, Michael J. White even threw in some of his martial arts skills and even the good old racist Hollywood casting of the most whitest white guy to play a Native American character, which was done on purpose. And they also had some Asians, but this was that honestly was one of the most funniest things out there because it's kind of they're they're making fun of of, of race racist stuff and stuff like how it used to be. Uh, type of films. Um, it's kind of like a low-budget knockoff of Blazing Saddles, to to be honest, uh, in a small way. Uh, obviously, Blazing Blazing Saddles, huge classic. My easy, easy, easy my favorite uh, non-modern day comedy. Um, it, it definitely a film that can be made today, and this Canada has that experiment as uh, inspired by it. Excuse me. Definitely some we need back today to normalize this type of comedy. Um, look, the comedy throughout the film was great. No complaints there. However, the fact that there, this started out with one plot and by the middle of the film had about three to four just muddied it up the story for me personally. As that being said, here's my rating. I'll come up with my final thoughts. Either way, a super fun film uh, it, that doesn't take itself seriously, that kind of puts on a light on something we should be laughing about these days, and laughing in general, um, but it's just making fun of stereotypes, making fun of Hollywood, making fun of all the stuff on purpose. So, it's, it, is it bad? It's a bad that it's good, but on purpose type of comedy. Um, as that being said, the writing for me personally, story-wise, once again, wasn't that great. Um, but uh, Michael J. White, I believe I'm saying his name right the whole time, uh, is a good actor. Not my favorite, but a good actor. And he, he directed this, he wrote, or co-wrote this, or wrote it himself. I couldn't tell by the credits. Um, but yeah, it's it, it, it says everything about this film that is needed today and it's really really just something to put on in general to laugh at have fun lay back 
you know, just try to lighten up your day. You know, so that's kind of why I was gravitated towards this. Um, I'm just kind of have been having a kind of a, excuse my, my language, but I've been kind of having a shitty week. So, um, hopefully this week is better. Um, but yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.